Hello, I'm Debbie Morgan, and I'm here again to get us all thinking about maths using the number blocks. I wonder what episode I'm going to be thinking about today. I'll give you a clue. What's the last number in that lineup? 10, you're right. Okay, so we're going to be thinking about 10. I hope you've watched the episode. If you have, pause the video now and have a chat to the adult you're with about what you noticed in the programme. Are you back? Great. Okay. I wonder what you noticed in the episode. Um, there's lots of things to think about. And we're going to be thinking about some of those things. One of those things is, is that did you notice that, that 10 has two high fives? She has two gloves. If you look at five in our lineup, five has one glove and five likes to do high fives. Well, 10 like to do two high fives. She has two fives and together two fives are ten. Show me your ten fingers. Wiggle them about. Okay, we got them there. Okay. Um, let's think about There's a pair of hands. Um, with your ten fingers, show them to me again. Got them there. Okay. Hide them behind your back. And now I'm going to ask you to bring them out, but instead of show me all ten of them, I'm going to ask you to show me just six. You ready? Have you got them ready? Bring them out. <sighs> there they are. Okay, six um, fingers up there. Okay, so we've got six fingers. Oh, but if we're not showing all of our ten, watch how many fingers are we hiding? You just turn your hand around so you can have a look. <gasps> I can see four folded down. So what does that tell me? It tells me that actually all together, six and four more is ten. There's our ten. You might like just like to play that game um, a little bit more um, after watching the video um, and do the, the bonds to ten um, with that. Okay. It's a special diagram. It's called a tens frame. I wonder if you've seen tens frames in school. At the moment, I've half filled my tens frame. Can you see that I've got five counters um, on that top row? If I was to fill my tens frame, how many would I need for the bottom row? You're right, I'd need five, wouldn't I? I'd need five for the bottom row. Um, so let's see if we put five in there. OK, so a tens frame has 10 spaces on it and I can fill it with 10 things. So I've got 10 counters. I've got five red counters and five white counters. And together, that five and five is equal to 10. Oh, how many have I got now in my tens frame? Ah, I've got seven in my tens frame. I wonder if you recognise seven as five and two more. Or maybe you counted on five, six, seven. OK. How many more would I need to fill my tens frame? I'd need three more, wouldn't I? I've got three empty spaces. Oh, how many in my tens frame now? Five again. How many do I need to fill it? I need five more. There they are. How many now? Six, that's right. Did you count that time? Or did you just see that there was five on the top and one more is six? How many blank spaces? I've got four. Yeah, can you just see those four blank spaces without counting? And how many now? I've got ten, haven't I? It's easy when they're all filled. We know straight away that there's ten. But in practice, we can recognise other numbers in our tens frame as well. There we go, there's our five and there's 10 again. Oh, I've got two this time. Mm. I've got to fill up the top row first and then I've got to fill up the bottom row. How many empty in the top row? Yeah, there's three and then I need five more to fill up the whole of the tens frame. There's, there's my three and there's my five to fill up the whole of the tens frame. Okay. Let's just think about now um, number block nine, just for a couple of minutes, number block nine. Um, I've kind of taken, taken number block nine, I've taken them apart. 
just to show really clearly his nine blocks. Nine is made from nine ones. And we, we often think of nine as being nine ones. They're his nine blocks. What about seven? How many blocks does seven have? You're right, that's too easy a question, isn't it? Seven has seven blocks. What about eight octoblock? Yes, eight, eight has eight blocks in it. We can, so we think of nine as, as nine, blo nine ones, but we can also think of him as, nine, as one nine. And there's our little one, which is just one one out there. So nine is made from nine ones. What about 10? How many ones is 10 made from? You're right, 10 is made from 10 ones, isn't he? One is made from one one, and 10 is made from 10 ones. So I've just taken her apart, and there she is. 10 is made from 10 ones. What about now thinking about 10 in a slightly different way? 10 is made from 10 ones, but she's also made from one something. Do you know what that is? It's one ten. She's made from one ten, and that's really important to think of ten, not only as ten ones, but also as one ten. And she's got a special red line around her to show that one ten. And sometimes her block lines disappear, just so that we can think about one ten. But more about that in another video. 10 is made from 110, 1 is made from 1 1. It's a special song about 10 that 10 likes to sing. It's called 10 Green Bottles. I wonder have you heard that song before? Um, this is how it goes. 10 green bottles standing on the wall, 10 green bottles standing on the wall, and if one green bottle should accidentally fall, <gasps> there it goes. How many green bottles will be left? There'll be nine green bottles standing on the wall. So nine comes in now, only nine bottles now. So nine's going to sing this first. Nine green bottles standing on the wall, nine green bottles standing on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there'd be, here it goes. How many green bottles on the wall? You're right, there's eight. Okay, there's eight green bottles. One less than nine is eight. So come on, Octoblock, let's have eight representing. She's going to, he's going to sing this verse of the 10 green bottles. Eight green bottles standing on the wall. Eight green bottles standing on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, you ready for it to go? There'd be seven green bottles. Seven is one less than eight. So we need the number seven. Um, here he is, he's feeling lucky. Seven green bottles standing on the wall, seven green bottles standing on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, here we go, it's gone. There'll be six green bottles standing on the wall. And the song continues. Um, it continues um, with six, one falls off, five, another one falls off, and there's f how many left? Four, four, another one falls off. Three left, three, another one falls off, there's two left, and two, another one falls off, there's one left, and one, the last one, falls off the wall. And so we've got none, we've got none, no green bottles standing on the wall. Just to talk to the adults for a minute, um, in this episode, we've looked at 10. In particular, we've drawn out that 10 isn't only 10 ones, but it's also important to draw attention to the feature that 10 is also 110. And that's why she's got a special red line drawn around her. Of course, when we come on very soon to 11, um, we'll draw out the fact that 11, the, the digits in 11, one and one represent the 110 and one more. And for 12, the digits represent the 110 and the two more. OK, so that's for, for later preparation for work. Um, engage your child um, in, in, in activities um, around 10, using the 10s frame, throwing 10 fingers, collecting groups of objects. Um, I've got 10 in them. 
and partitioning 10, breaking up 10 to be able to see the 6 and the 4, like we did with the tens frames um, earlier. Okay, have fun everyone. Bye.